Good Friday morning, everybody, live and direct from House Onik in Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. It is a beautiful, if not warm and somewhat steamy Friday morning out there. We're looking again at some quiet conditions for right now in the Mid-South area. We will be looking for more chances of showers and thunderstorms around the Mid-South. Nothing immediate, nothing huge at this time, but we will be again seeing the potential for more chances of activity off and on throughout the rest of the weekend. So if you have any plans for outdoors, go ahead and keep them, but as of right now, may want to think about, again, the possibility of that happening and keeping an umbrella handy just to be on the safe side. So that's going to be the main thing we're going to be looking for for right now. The rest of the weekend looks pretty good, with, again, the exception of the possibility of some more of those showers and thunderstorms out there that could be a bit of a problem for outdoor activities into parts of the area. We'll keep an eye on that throughout the rest of the weekend on News Channel 3, so stay tuned for more on that. Currently in the Mid-South, again, we've got temperatures pretty much on the very warm side, welcoming in all of our Facebook viewers, and thanking to everybody for stopping by for a little bit of weather details before your day gets started. Again, through the rest of the day, not much of a problem. Could be a lingering shower or maybe even a thunderstorm as we get closer to Friday night football. We'll take a look at that forecast coming up here in just a little bit, so stay tuned for more on that. Taking a look at radar right now, again, we have little, if anything, really going on across much of the Mid-South area. It's very dry, at least where it comes to rainfall, but there is going to be that possibility of picking up some showers and thunderstorms across parts of the Mid-South. So again, not that much going on here. But later on today, we will be looking for more chances of showers and thunderstorms taking place. And most of that should be, again, around and back to the east of us into around the Tennessee River Valley. So there's really just not that much going on at this time and probably won't be seeing too much. But again, I would keep the umbrella handy just to be on the safe side out there. Uh, again, keeping an eye on what's going on, especially as we get into around Friday night football time later on tonight. Here's what it looks like around Little Rock. We've got a very nice nice picture of sunrise taking place over the haze layer into and around the area from Plaza West. This is available from the weather bug systems uh, in and around the cameras available from the Mid-South and beyond. Here in the Mid-South area, plenty of sunshine and looking beautiful out there. No major problems again being seen for right now. Golfers out and about this morning at Windyke Country Club in southeast Memphis and the driving range looks like it's pretty active already and also some haze layer seen into and around the area of Germantown High School on the City Hall cam from City of Germantown looking off toward the east. More of that available at wreg.com slash webcams if you'd like to see more. Current temperatures across the Mid-South it is again exceptionally warm out there already. Temperature of 77 degrees at Memphis International Airport. Teresa Bertram, welcome to the show and good morning on Facebook. And again, as of right now, looking at some uh, very warm conditions out across the area will continue to be so throughout the rest of the day. Now, we don't have too much going on just yet when it comes to uh, heat index temperatures, but it is noticeably warmer out there with some of those numbers already hitting the mid to upper 70s and will continue to be on the warm side throughout the course of the rest of the day. Currently into the tropics, again, not that much going on. We again have a little bit more in the way of problems from Maria than we do from Jose. Jose is still just a post-tropical cyclone as of last night, wandering into the northwestern Atlantic and expected to be a tropical depression throughout the course of the next couple of days. Could be a, a post-tropical storm, maybe a little bit of uh, returning to some stronger conditions out there. But also, if you're planning on heading anywhere from, say, New York City up to around Boston. There could be, again, some very breezy winds. Tropical storm force winds could be a problem uh, if you're heading in that general direction from Jose, but no longer expected to be a threat, at least for right now. Maria is still, again, a major threat out into the area of the Bahamas and into and around the area of the Caribbean, showing, again, a major hurricane at this time and making its way back to the north as just a post-major hurricane, but staying between the island of Bermuda and also into the east coast of the United States. So once again, fortunately, this does not appear to be an Irma-type situation, so good news on that. And beyond that, there's nothing else going on all the way throughout the rest of the Atlantic Ocean, so good news there. Dust from the Sahara is doing a good job of kind of quashing that by just a little bit. Into the Mid-South area, again, it's going to be warm, it's going to be humid, but we don't see anything going on in the way of major amounts of problems out there. Uh, Barbara McWilliams, welcome to the show. Donna Liz, 
Uh, yes, hot, and you could definitely use some help on that. We might be getting some. We'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. High pressure remains in control of the east coast of the United States, but that circular motion, that clockwise motion, is moving moisture on shore, and you can see that down to the Gulf of Mexico. And we've got plenty of activity with showers from Texas to Florida, right on up into the Mid-South. Daytime heating will kick up that moisture, but it's also going to do a good job of blocking that next storm system from heading our way. Not really going to be seeing too much of anything head our direction to cool us off until that high pressure over the East Coast relents and gets us a little bit more leeway where it comes to that front moving on through. So for today, high temperatures back into the lower to mid 90s. Not much of any help for today. Isolated showers and thunderstorms, yes, not a widespread event. Unfortunately, that would help maybe to cool us off, but also dumping more humidity into the atmosphere. For tonight, not that much of a problem for Friday night football, except for the temperatures. It's going to be back in the mid-80s by the time the games kick off for later on tonight. That's just the temperature. By the time the games kick off tonight, again, wearing those uniforms, and also, again, uh, anybody wearing those uh, football uniforms or the marching band uniforms, heat index temperatures by the time the games kick off tonight are going to be in the upper 80s to lower 90s. So a lot of careful watching is going to have to go on to see that nobody starts to fall out uh, thanks to uh, heat stroke or anything like that. So definitely want to keep that in mind. Low temperatures tonight, upper 60s to lower 70s. Heading into Saturday, high temperatures in the lower 90s with, again, that chance of a thunderstorm off and on, but not looking at too much. Low temperatures Saturday night under mostly clear skies in the upper 60s to lower 70s. And then heading into Sunday, temperatures back again into the mid to upper 80s to around about the lower 90s or so. So basically for today, about the same thing. Temperatures will be back in the lower to mid 90s out there and not really seeing too much in the way of help. Winds out of the southwest, according to the National Weather Service here, so not seeing too much of any help in that location at this time. What are we looking for, again, specifically on the forecast, directly from the News Channel 3 Severe Weather Center? Seven-day forecast available at wreg.com slash weather. 90s all the way into next week, but by the time we hit next Thursday, Things are looking a little better. Not much, but we'll be back to around 80 degrees, it looks like, by about Thursday. Whether or not we go any farther below that, a little iffy at this time, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3. And we'll keep you advised on that. You can catch my forecast available on AM 730 for about the next uh, 45 minutes or so with Bob and Josh on TalkBack Live or on TalkBackLiveNetwork.org. If you can't listen on the air, you can listen over the computer. And also catch my forecast throughout the rest of the weekend on the East Arkansas Broadcasters Network on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. Again, so far a beautiful morning out there. St. Francis in Cordova showing again a few clouds drifting on through and likewise from Germantown City Hall, a little bit of some haze out there and a few clouds popping up from time to time, but otherwise not looking at too much so far this morning. We'll have another update of your forecast coming up later on today, so stay tuned for more on that as we head into the weekend. And of course, an update on the tropics, an update on severe weather. If you'd like to know more about how you can get ready for severe weather with the National Weather Service in Memphis with their Skywarn training classes, we'll have more about that coming up as we go into the rest of the weekend, so stay tuned for more there. Live and direct from House Onik in Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with your Friday morning update of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Stay tuned to News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the weekend on air and online.